g'day. Got a whole bunch of garden waste to get rid of. So this is my big drum I just picked up for ten dollars. And a bit of scrap aluminium tubing. And some cardboard tubing. And over here I've got a big thousand watt vacuum cleaner that's got a blower on it as well. I'll use that to blow onto the gallon and oh, actually here's my old one. This one here worked really well. I just put the blower onto that and it burnt the rubbish but it's a bit small and it, but it burnt really clean. Okay this is going to be a real hack job because if things were good I'd have a pipe, a metal pipe this size but I don't have a lot of junk so I'm going to use this bit of cardboard and just by cutting a little V in here I can reduce it down and hopefully it should jam into the end of my vacuum cleaner. So there we go. So it fits in there pretty good and the other end I've just kind of done the same thing. So it will hook into this aluminium pipe. So there we go. So there is my aluminium pipe, my reducer and my vacuum cleaner. You need the right kind so this vacuum cleaner has got a blower port. Okay so the next thing that I need to do is drill a hole for the air inlet and got a real cheap cheesy uh, hole cutter and I'll drill it kind of up, up from the bottom so the ash doesn't block it up. Okay now it's time to drill the hole. Would be nice to use my good drill press but it just won't fit in there very well. fluid on there I guess. Okay put some lube on there now. Stop cooking my drill. Oh well, that should do the trick pretty rough but that's what I'm good at. Oh there it is. Only 10 minutes of work. We've got a makeshift furnace. All right, so that's all set up in the backyard, ready to go. It's all hooked up. Ready to go. Hopefully all I'm going to do is just light this bit of tissue I've shoved in there. And just inject the... Oh, blown it out. Okay, that didn't work too well, so I'll put a bit of turps on this one. So. I'll let that turps go. Turn the vacuum cleaner on. And stick the blower in there. Well, that's a shame I missed it. it. It just suddenly just took off. And you can see there's almost no smoke at all now. Clean as. And look at that. Just, that's just that's just roaring away. Well all the stuff inside just disappeared really quick. The paint's all burning off. And it's starting to smell a bit, so I guess once that paint's gone it'll be fine. I might have, have a quick sneak inside. So I need to go and fill it up again, but it makes a beautiful noise. I just dumped another load in. And I'll turn on the vacuum cleaner and we'll see what happens. There it goes. Whoa. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> yeah, and the nice thing about this is you can turn the vacuum cleaner off and load it up while it's pretty safe. Turn it back on again. Probably not a good idea to chuck so much on at once.
of bricks there to stop the grass burning. to sound like a jet plane pretty soon. It's getting very hot <coughs> out here. There it goes. Turbo mode. Turbo. <laughs> It'd probably go a lot better if I had a fat pipe there. I'll have to get a, an exhaust pipe. Oi! What did you think of the fire? I think it's a lucky fire. Oh, it's a big one, is it? Yeah. Oh. Kind of looks like a, a Dalek if you put those two pieces together. Exterminate, exterminate.